Work begins on GM LG Chem Giga Power Battery Factory. Hello, dear friends. I was thinking that since Torque News YouTube channel daily chronicles and reports Giga Berlin Factory, Giga Factory in Berlin, and also Giga Shanghai regularly whenever we have news, especially about the phase two that you have been watching on this channel, I thought, why not? GM and LG Chem are building a Giga Power Battery Factory that they announced actually in December of 2009. Why not bring this to our uh, information? And in 2019, 2019, I'm sorry, 2019, GM CEO uh, Barra, Mary Barra said that uh, this factor is going to be very import important for GM's path to uh, all electric future. So uh, let's see how things are going. And so looks like we're eyeing another Giga factory. Clean Technica reports and Steve Hanley from Clean Technica has done the research. And I'm going to put the link in the, uh, in the description of this video and this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com welcome back our friends please subscribe to our channel link uh, like this video to show your appreciation of Steve works and also ring the notification bell because later today I'm going to bring you at least two more stories one about Ford's fast store chargers and also what uh, Elon Musk said about Tesla Cybertruck and its new design or new changes so looks like Tesla isn't the only company rushing into the electric automobile future okay maybe rushing is a little strong when he, when the topic is about General Motors but the fact remains just one day after getting approval from the US Army Corps of Engineers work began to clear the land for its new battery manufacturing facility somewhat grandly known as the Giga Power Factory now Giga uh, uh, Tesla uh, factories are called Giga factories GM factory battery factory is known as Giga Power Factory on it's on 158 acres in Mecca Township of Ohio northwest of Youngstown this is important because it's very close to uh, Detroit not too far actually from Detroit it is important especially these days when supplies coming from different countries are becoming a big issue stopping productions the factory the Giga Power GM uh, GM's Giga Power our factory battery factory is a joint venture with GLG Chem and is located next door to the former Lordstown factory sold last year to Lordstown Motors which intends to build electric pickup trucks there the land was previously owned by GM by General Motors which sold it in 2009 during the last Great Depression before buying it back prior to the current Great Depression. According to the report by the Tribune Chronicle, GM expects the factory to be operational by January of 2022 and to employ 1,100 workers. When completed, it will be able to produce 30 gigawatt hours of battery cells annually, enough for 500,000 cars, according to an LG Chem press release. Let me repeat that again. So according to Tribune Chronicle, the, G, uh, the factory will be operational, the Giga Power factory of GM will be operational in 2022, in basically year and a half. It will employ 1,100 workers. It will produce 30 gigawatt hour of battery cells annually, which is enough to power 500,000 cars. And that's already according to LG Chem press release. Now, presumably, the Giga Power GM's factory will manufacture the Ultium battery cells GM unveiled recently, saying they represented a breakthrough in battery technology, which I think was going to take their cars beyond 400 miles. And I have reported on YouTube, Torque News YouTube channel, details of Ultium battery cells by GM. Some Clean Technica readers have rather un, uh, unchartably said they are the same cells as LG Chem supplies to several other manufacturers. But Steve says if GM wants to say it is a world leader in battery technology, who are we to complain? At least the company is building a factory and planning to roll out a number of battery electric cars over the next few years. And those cells will also be used to power two battery electric cars that will be badged as Hondas. 
even though they will be built on a GM chassis at a GM factory. Honda will have complete control over the stitching on the passenger seats, however. The factory will actually be owned by the Western Reserve Port Authority, which will lease it to Gigapower LLC for a period of five years. Using the WRPA conduit, Western Reserve Port Authority's conduit, will save the partners, GM and LG Chem, several million dollars in sales taxes on construction materials. When complete, the factory will contain 3.1 million square feet of manufacturing space and cost 2.25 billion, 5 million for the land, 608 million for the building and more than 1.6 billion for machinery and equipment. The project received final approval from the Ohio Environmental Protection Agency just last week. We have an aggressive schedule and we really appreciate the support we have received from the community and government agencies on this important project. GM spokesman Dan Flores told the Tribune Chronicle. Well, this is an interesting development, huh? To have a gigapower battery. Let's get used to it. Gigapower battery versus gigafactory. And it's in interesting that GM and LG are partnering together. I know not now there will be probably some comments about when this will be compared. They will probably compare the speed of Gigapower battery versus Giga Berlin speed or um, Giga Shanghai speed, which is actually uh, doing some records. But I think it's very good that GM is now uh, making this battery power, a uh, Giga Power battery factory, because unless you have enough batteries, you cannot make big claims that I will make electric cars. Who is going to power those electric cars? Where are the batteries going to come if there is battery shortage? And looks like Tesla will announce that it will have its own batteries made in its own factories. Because one thing that is going to change in the automotive industry which i learned from my friend um, stefan from germany an automotive expert is that after this virus situation a lot of things will change in the automotive industry and in supply chain industry here's what imagine if you have a uh, company uh, in detroit and your batteries are coming from china or korea or south america or wherever if a uh, situation like this happens again, your entire uh, supply is shut down. And even if you can operate in Detroit, you cannot have your batteries coming from and you cannot even ship in. Uh, so as a result, your uh, power battery will shut down or your Giga Power battery factory will shut down. Therefore, one thing that is going to change in the automotive industry, and I assume in many other industries, is that car companies and other major uh, factories they will prefer to do one of the two things first if you are going to have supplies they will prefer their suppliers to be very near to their main mother factory huh? because if let's say if you are a, making cars you would like your major supplies or all the supplies to be in the same city or at least in the same state if you are in the united states or if you are in the europe be very close so when uh, something like virus or anything like happens like this and the world's economy shuts down you can still have your supplies coming from the near place and you are not affected very much from uh, overseas shipments that's one thing second we will see that many car companies will prefer to build their own parts so they have complete control over the parts that go into making their cars it looks like tesla is moving to this direction because we are getting in in my previous reports of what to expect from uh, tesla battery day which probably will be aired sometimes in mid-may unless it's postponed again one of the expectations is that tesla will announce that it will make its own battery cells Yes, Tesla has some partnerships with some other companies, but it will also make uh, its own battery cells very likely because they need them. And this is why, who knows why we're seeing a huge expansion of Giga Shanghai Phase 2A which Torque News has been chronicling here. So this is not surprising, and uh, I think these are very interesting 
development friends let me know what you think about these developments uh, what you think about gm's uh, giga power battery do you think we will see more companies announcing uh, their power battery factories let's say one day mercedes bmw and ford and others are going to really embrace fully the electric vehicle revolution where are their batteries coming from going to come from who is going to build their fact uh, batteries do you think we will see new factories being built or uh, retrofitted to change their some existing parts factories into building battery cells and i think the more companies do that the more battery technology will be advanced and i will not be surprised to see batteries in our cars that in uh, in, in maybe in 10 15 years later we'll get closer to 800 miles per charge 1000 miles per charge or more because the more companies will be involved in researching batteries making batteries doing research and developments and finding better and more effective efficient ways to get more miles per ga uh, per charge per single charge okay friends well thank you very much thanks for watching so uh, i guess we're going to embrace gm LG Chem Giga Power Battery Factory. They're starting the work and it's very quick. And um, please subscribe to our channel. Ring the notification bell because I'm my next story is going to be about uh, Ford's faster chargers and maybe we can have some words there about see what's the situation with Ford's batteries and also what Elon Musk said about Cybertruck's new design and new updates uh, and I will see you in our next report ring the notification bell like this video please have a wonderful day take good care of each other and God bless you all see you next, next time